Hello, English 9 students and parents. I am so excited to get to formally introduce to you the interdisciplinary project that you will be completing across your core subjects uh, over the coming semester. So as you know, in English, we have already begun investigating the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals. These are goals that the UN has determined are essential uh, for us to focus on as a global community in order to transform our world. So we began with an inquiry into a goal that uh, genuinely interests you. So we explored all 17 goals and you then chose one that interested you and uh, narrowed your focus within that topic. That is one of the trans disciplinary goals that the team has chosen to focus on this year, uh, as well as being reflective. In English, as you know, we are focusing on uh, the critical skill for citizens in our world to be able to access, navigate, and evaluate information. So in this unit, you have been learning strategies to be a critical consumer of texts. You've been working on identifying and analyzing text structures and features, and then applying your knowledge of text to read critically, make inferences, and analyze bias. So far, you have located four different texts related to the focus within your chosen SDG, and you've evaluated each of those texts um, and determined how effective each one has been in achieving its purpose. Ultimately, this is going to lead to you creating a multimedia presentation in which you do a comparative analysis of your sources uh, to determine how different creators or authors portrayed the same topic and attempted to influence you as a reader. So now I'm excited to turn it over to your other teachers to talk about the components of this project that you will tackle in their classes. Hello, science students. For your UN Sustainable Development Goal project for science, you will do a clean evidence reasoning framework, much like you did for your winter exam. Let's look at an example. Maybe I click on UN SDG number 14, life below water, love the oceans. And the goal is to uh, conserve and sustainably use the ocean seas and marine resources for sustainable development. And then right below it, it gives us a picture of some of the pressures on our oceans. And so we, we encounter all these pressures here in Oman, and maybe I want to research and learn more about one of them and help be an activist. And so for my example, I'm going to do acidification. So after using the resources that your teachers and Mrs. Nicholas provide you, you do some research, you come up with a claim. My claim is going to be rising CO2 or carbon dioxide levels are causing the oceans to become more acidic and this hurts marine organisms. I'm then going to present evidence and evidence is data graphs, measurements, numbers, something that shows um, primary fieldwork collection. And so here's something from the uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration showing aragonite, which is an indicator of ocean acidity. And then my reasoning is what's the actual, what's the science behind it? And so here I'm gonna explain that carbon dioxide comes into water and makes an acid. This acid uh, makes H pluses, which compete with corals for carbonate. And so it's going to compete with them for carbonate, which is going to hurt the corals and other uh, uh, shell making organisms. All right, I look forward to your CER. An important part of your research will be to look at and interpret reliable data to determine any improvement or impact being made in your SDG. In your math classes, you'll be looking at various visual data sources to identify progress being made. You'll be exploring different tools that will help you navigate your specific SDG target and indicator. You'll also be presenting your graphs and their implications, as well as the validity of your sources. We're excited for you to improve your ability to find and understand data that's all around you. The reality is that math is everywhere and probably impacting the decisions you make daily without you even knowing it. Hey everybody, so Mr. Levisser here with the UN Sustainable Development Goal Project. This is your World History 1 component. And there's two things that we're going to do for this project in World History 1. The first is research and evaluate. So you're going to look at a story of a community that's trying to solve one of these sustainable development goals that's affecting them. 
You're going to talk about what are the issues, what's their solution, what's their approach, how well is it going, and then could this be used, is this applicable for other communities, for other places trying to solve the same issue. So that's the first component that you're going to do. The second component is that you're going to take action to help make this sustainable development goal better, to create some change in the world. You have two options for taking an action. The first option is to write a letter. And in that letter, you'll overview the sustainable development goal and any progress that's been made. You'll talk about how this connects to an important community, a community that's important to you. And then you'll discuss different actions or policies or measures that you'd like to see enacted to help with the sustainable development goal. So that's the first way that you could take action. The second way is through art. You can create any number of pieces of art or types of art to inspire people to achieve the sustainable development goal. So you're imagining it's been achieved, it's been completed. What would that look like when you're trying to inspire people with your art uh, to take action? So this is our project. I'm excited to work on it with you and I'm excited to team up uh, with the other teachers to make this happen. Mrs. Nicholas, your friendly librarian here to talk research. So the research, research skills you will use throughout this project are skills you're going to use throughout your academic life and beyond. Things like gathering sources, evaluating information, using information ethically by citing your sources. And the resources available to you on the high school library website will be instrumental in helping you find success with this project. But these are skills you should be using, not just on this project, but in all aspects of your learning in every course. Don't forget to use the databases, in particular the SIRS and Issues and Controversies databases. And these can be accessed through the High School Library website. This site also contains resources to help you with citing your sources correctly. So lots of good information here. Also, check out our display in the commons of books, both fiction and nonfiction, related to the SDGs. So happy researching, and don't forget that I'm here to support you throughout this entire research process. Good luck. <laughs>